Okay, so I know you love to get your hands dirty, digging around yeah. in the in the in the fertile dirt. No. I know you like to get your hands dirty, <laughs> yeah. so but just in general, why is gardening so important to you personally? Well, it's it's really the place, Tim, where I am. Um, I get grounded. If I'm upset, I come out here and I'm in the dirt and you know, within five or ten minutes I'm I'm peaceful again. Um, there's something very realistic about the cycle of, of gardening about we you plant you don't know what's going to come up you don't know if it's going to make it through the bugs and the, and the beetles and the, and the varmints uh, you don't know if you're going to get anything so there's always there's a surprise the anticipation the long-term commitment it's a relationship and it's it's a pretty important piece of my of my own healing and growth and and if there are people I'm worried about or situations that I'm concerned about it's it's where I come to to pray and to meditate and, and by prayer you know I, I know we're in a part of the, part of the world where honey do you have a church home is almost a second greeting and where I come from the next question is is that with or without snakes but it doesn't matter if you are Christian or Muslim or Jewish or Hindu the way in which you met or Buddhist the focusing the, the act of meditation of what it takes to tend to plants is also really symbolic about what it takes to tend to oneself so it's it's self. It's kind of self-care in a way. And is that something that you that you do because it's also something you have a good control of, or, or do you kind of feel like that's as equally as out of control? Oh, it's out of control. I mean, it's a crapshoot. You know, it's if I'll be lucky, there's a mole tunnel over here, and if, if I'm if I'm lucky, I'll get the mole, but probably not. Will the moles eat the sweet potatoes? You know. Um, I've already had squirrels go after the melons. What's, what am I going to get? It's, it's always kind of like a constant little battle with nature, you know. And the rabbits, I've got rabbit fence that's inside a chain link fence. Nonetheless, the baby ones can still get through. And if I'm not out here to get them, then they're going to get the food. And the squirrels will still go underneath the bird netting to try and get the tomatoes. And they'll get them one once in a while. So it's, it's, uh, it's kind of a mastery thing. And we just saw that mole coming up through the ground. Oh yeah, man! And boy, ago. I tell you what, if I'd had a if I'd had a fork, he'd have been stabbed. <laughs> <laughs> just because that's balance. That's balance within the garden. Balance within the garden is when the moles eat the grubs outside the garden. But see, I don't have any dogs or anything that's that's a predator for the moles outside, and so they come over here because I reckon it's safe. But man. Eh. You know, I'm, and I've got lizards, I've got skinks, I've got skinks that are big enough to cut ham steaks off of if you were going to garden them, you know, and frogs. I saw a frog out here the other night, so uh, there's, a, there's a pretty good balance of beneficial creatures and not so beneficial creatures, but, uh, you know, they're just in the wrong place at the wrong time for me. Well, and now, and just this garden is huge. This garden is, it, it's huge, it's a lot, I mean, I heard that you love the garden, I heard that, uh, all, well, I've heard lots of stuff about you, but I, <laughs> but I mean, I've, I've, Guilty. I've heard, and if you just knew the rest. <laughs> and I've, I've heard, I've heard tons about you, and I've heard that you love the garden, and this garden is huge, this yeah. garden is, is, is huge, what do you do with everything you grow from this garden? Well, I eat, like tonight, we'll have the vegetables I just picked a little while ago, um, I have neighbors that are on fixed incomes, and sometimes I have enough I can share with them, and there are some folks that, that, that kind of live out down on Mill Creek, and sometimes, you know, that, I, anybody's welcome to it in addition to me. And it does a couple of things. It builds community. Because up and down my street, the little old ladies want to know, and little old men, and the, the people are not so little and old, how's the garden? Uh, have you got an extra tomato? I'm going, yeah, just leave me one. That's all I need. Um, I think somebody came by a little while ago today in, in hopes of a little okra. And you know, it, it helps people know that I'm here and it helps people know that I care for them and it helps me be cared for. So it's a, it's a device, it's something that's really important to me, but it's also a way of building and fostering community and connections. 